Hi, this is Vicki here with Condi Systems. Today we're going to show you how to uh, fix banding issues with the printer. Hopefully you don't have banding issues, but should you have a banding issue, I want to make a video so that uh, people out there can uh, watch this video and hopefully check some settings and verify some um, conditions in which would improve any banding issues for your Rico printers. I'm going to take you to the printer folder. I'm going to go to Start, Printers and Devices. Our printers and faxes or you can go to your control panel and then go to uh, this printers and devices but I'm going to click on printers and devices that's my printer folder and we're going to start uh, we actually we'll just choose the Rico GX 7000 it would work with the 3300 or the 7000 or the 5050 and we're going to left click on let's go to properties now with Windows 7 you have a printer properties with XP and Vista you'll go to properties okay I have Windows 7 so I'm gonna click printer properties and that gives me my properties so the things I'm gonna look for here for banding issues things I need to know about and I'm gonna try to give you a brief description of what each one of these things will do for you um, I'm gonna click on advanced and in my advanced setting I have spool options here and the spool options basically this is how data is sent to your printer so data is printing while data is being sent or data gets sent and then starts printing meaning everything is spooled over to the printer and then it prints and this is the one we want for uh, quality issues and that will help with banding so now I'm going to go to the general tab and I'm going to click on preferences and that opens up my printer preferences and let's talk about a couple other things that will help with banding okay so you can test each one of these individually or you can you know uh, eliminate one by one um, or select them all and then eliminate one by one but this is a unidirectional printing only a unidirectional is not something you want to select unless you do have some banding issues so your choices would be unidirectional or bidirectional and you don't see bidirectional here because by default bidirectional is what the printer will do when installed. Unidirectional can be selected basically where it prints in one direction only and sometimes that will help with banding issues. I don't normally use this. This is kind of a last resort um, if everything else that I show you here don't work. Unidirectional can help with banding issues and um, that's the uh, lines that you see sometimes in your print jobs after you've checked your nozzle check and it's good. So let's make sure that you've done that one first nozzle check but these things can help after you've done those things media type banding issues okay make sure your setup is always going to be a condi ICC setup okay and once you have this selected your paper type should be inkjet plain paper um, banding issues can be resolved sometimes by increasing to glossy paper okay glossy paper but what happens sometimes when you change the media type your settings are, are lost too so make sure that you get with us if you go to a glossy paper setting okay we can get your settings all back using the glossy paper type I'm gonna go back and choose the Condi ICC I don't want glossy paper again uh, unidirectional is a way that will help with banding issues I'm gonna deselect it but I do want you to know that I'm gonna go to printer configuration and spool format here now if you are 64-bit uh, if you have a 64-bit PC you will not see this here I have a 32-bit so raw data will help with banding issues also so uh, you want to make sure that uh, that you choose the uh, raw setting RAW and that's a good setting to run with uh, usually when we do a setup we select that anyway but if you don't have that selected that also will help with any banding issues so raw is a good setting to have for spooling and um, adjust color density sometimes um, colors light are maybe um, slightly banding color density now this will richen your color put a little more ink down I, normally if you obtain printer value you're gonna get fives here sometimes we like to run a little richer and this will too 
sometimes help with some banding issues but usually you don't want to do this uh, you know because it might it might darken your color a little bit but uh, it will help with the banding issues if you go slightly up just increment it up like I said this would be some beta testing on your end on this setting uh, I'm just gonna okay out of this and go back to setup and remember any changes that you make inside the driver you want to make sure you save those settings um, so we're gonna click save and usually when I save a special setting uh, say for instance if I chose a unidirectional printing I would probably save it as Condi ICC and Una. That way I know in the future that uh, when I choose the setting it, it specifically means that I have chosen to print in one direction only to help with a, maybe a certain print job and sometimes it's you know if you choose this setting and then later on to say you're printing an image you got banding in this image and you don't normally see it in other images then you can always go back to the Condi CC ICC setting I'm sorry and choose it again and that will take you back without all those settings applied okay again this is Vicky with Condi Systems and I hope this has helped with your banding issues thank you for your time